The future of long-haul trucking is already on China's roads. Uh, all right. Now, this is a suggestion via a channel member. Let's go ahead and jump into the video immediately. Let's see where this video takes us. Guys. Long haul trucking on a vast network of expressways that surpasses even the U.S. in length okay. is the lifeblood of China's sprawling industrial supply chains, not to mention the nation's booming e-commerce. Domestic express deliveries last year shattered all records with nearly 175 billion parcels shipped. But there are growing pains, including a shortage of drivers. Actually, truck driver is a very well-paid job in China in terms of a blue-collar job. Mm -hmm. uh, but a younger, uh, young person, they, they'd rather to do the food delivery, which are much less, uh, but not to do the uh, trucking job because that is lonely and dangerous. Today, we've hitched a ride with longtime truck driver Fu Ting Feng on the last leg of his solo 500-mile trip from Wuhan to Shanghai. Normally, such a journey would require two drivers taking turns. But what? Fu, for the better part of a year now, has been driving one Is of the 3,000 tractor trailers in China, equipped with an advanced driver assistance system from Chinese startup Inceptio Technology, which takes a lot of the driving of the 31-ton rig out of his hands. Oh, no. Guys, if this hits, if this hits the United States of America, Every single like logistic company is going to switch immediately. I'm telling you, they're going to cut their entire workload in half here. I have no idea what, you know, I have a couple of safety concerns specifically for moving 31 tons. Like hand, like hands free with a computer, let's say. Like, don't get me wrong here. I do think that the, the concept of like a smart driver, like an AI type of system is absolutely ingenious here. Uh, but it would make more sense if everyone had that technology. Uh, because the problem is I do think that the... AI is going to 100% drive better than a human will at all times of the day. And the main issues are going to be the human drivers, right? That's, it's the human drivers that are, that are going to be the, the kind of the issue here. Uh, there's no way to basically control what we do, but with the AI, right? Uh, I think if all the cars were AI, then it would make sense. But I don't know how, um, you know, again, my main concern is safety in this instance here. It's definitely safety. But I do think that uh, if there, if this is an option, if this, if this becomes like a serious option in the United States of America, this entire industry is going to completely fall apart, bro. I can definitely think of um, like the ice road trucker scenario. All of you guys are being fired. I'm telling you this right now. All of you, all, every single one of those individuals that live specifically in that region and make all of that money are going to be fired from, from they're going to they're gonna be 100% replaced by AI. Right? Cheaper. Uh, and if someone dies specifically, um, uh, you know, at work, you don't have to pay for anyone's existence, let's say. Um, I think AI is definitely going to change a lot of industries. When we finish a video, um, I'll, I'll speak a little bit more on that. When people are visually fatigued, for example, when changing lanes, you think the distance between the vehicles is enough, right? Then you turn the steering wheel and it is normal to get a scratch. You can see on the screen that the radar and camera must have reached a certain distance, a safe distance between the vehicles before it allows the lane change. Driver assistance technology is facing intense scrutiny in China since a fatal crash in March of a Xiaomi SU7 EV that had its autopilot system turned on. When this ADAS system is engaged, Fu doesn't need to keep his foot on the pedals as the rig handles acceleration and braking as well as lane changes and maintaining safe distances. Inceptio has logged more than 215 million accident-free operational kilometers. Oh, oh no. There's a lot of congestion ahead. Oh, Timmy, lots of yeah, that's it. Yes, that's it, guys. but the system can handle that's all it, kinds guys. of road conditions. Doesn't matter if there's a traffic jam. Six cameras, five radars, and one LiDAR sensor help the truck navigate most hazards. And remote monitoring makes sure Fu is not over-relying on technology. So he's saying the sensor there up at the windshield will tell if he's drowsing off and then the seat belt will shake and the seat will shake to kind of wake him up. The seat belt will tighten on you. It would even shake loose a kidney stone, just like a massage chair. Fu's employer, delivery company White... Bro, that's a wild analogy, but, but okay. TO Express has 300 Inceptio ADAS-equipped trucks in its fleet and plans to add another 400 this year. 
At first a bit skeptical, YTO now sees labor costs reduced by about a third and fuel savings of around one liter for every 100 kilometers. Right. It can eliminate some of the dangerous driving behaviors of individual drivers, which reduces exactly risks what I said to our here. shipments. For the 46-year-old Fu, he says the advancements may just delay his previously planned retirement from the road. I can drive this truck without getting tired even after working for more than 10 hours. I have a lot of energy. Having arrived safely in Shanghai, Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, this is the death of the industry. Completely. Like if this hits the United States of America, I do expect most likely uh, there to be a gigantic amount of unions that are going to push back from it. Right. Just like how a couple of years ago was it last year. So the dock workers um, were pushing back. But listen, guys, change happens fast. OK. And just like when the dock workers were sitting there writing and all of the craziness, I said it back then, bro, this is just a band aid. Like you're going to be replaced, like period, because. A lot of the things that are required to do it are, you know, monotonous, right? And those tasks, are, AI eats those up like it's nothing, okay? Uh, and guess what? They don't complain or unionize, all right? So I don't know what you're expecting. Um, you know, it, it seems like you need to start worrying about, uh, you know, studying prompts or something like that or something, bro, because uh, there are certain industries that are just gonna, going to completely go away, Um Example here. Uh, so I have, a, I have a list on my phone here because my, my wife just sent this to me randomly and, luck, and it's weird because now th this video pops up. Um, uh, the top 40 occupations with the highest AI, like you have the highest chance of AI just replacing you immediately, bro. Uh, and that's going to be interpreters and translators. That is basically over now. If you have those fields, um, it may be time to do something different. Historians, uh, Passenger attendants, uh, sales representatives of services. Yeah, I can imagine how that is something that's also going to go. But don't get me wrong here. Um, when it comes to that one specifically, the human touch is generally what, what kind of seals the deal with that, at least. But there are some people who just do not want to speak or deal with people in the first place. And they are absolutely susceptible to utilizing like those type of like AI based, you know, conversational type of things. Understand Amazon already has one. It was called Rufus or something like that, guys. Either way, uh, writers and authors. Again, the human touch is important, but I can definitely tell you the AI can write a book in basically, you know, 30 minutes. And that's probably still too long for the entirety of a book that's going to be absolutely captivating, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, let's see. CNC tool programmers. I have no idea what that is, guys. Uh, telephone operators, uh, ticket agents, and travel clerks. Absolutely. Uh, broadcast announcers and radio DJs. 100%. 100%, guys. Uh, brokerage clerks, farm and home management educators. Okay. Uh, telemarketers, concierge services. Absolutely. Political scientists, uh, news analysts, reporters, and journalists, mathematicians, Technical writers, proofreaders, and copywriters, hosts and hostesses, editors. Yeah, I can definitely tell you right now. Hold on, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over like some sickness. Either way. Um, when it comes to editors, absolutely. Because all you have to do is copy and paste the text, and then the AI is going to completely fix all the bad things. That's it. That's it. Like, here, I'm going to write something. It's going to be terrible, but I'm going to go ahead and put that into AI and then tell them specifically to reword this in legalese, if that makes any sense here. And it'll come out, sound like a lawyer wrote it, okay, it'll, uh, immediately, and, and it'll be perfect. Editors are absolutely going to be replaced here. Uh, business teachers, post-secondary, uh, public relations specialists, uh, demonstrators and product promoters, uh, advertising sale agents, new account clerks, statistical uh, assistants, counter and rental clerks, data scientists, personal financial advisors. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, web developers, uh, geographers, models. Okay, guys, I can definitely tell you this right now. Me, I've been a photographer for over two decades, uh, director of photographer for about one decade, uh, cinematographer for over a decade. Okay. Um, I can definitely tell you, like living in the realm of like photographing models for sure, bro, 15 plus years, I'd, I'd say all around the world. Um, yeah, they're going to be replaced uh, because all I literally have to do is photograph you once. Right. And, and say, hey, thanks for letting me borrow your image from your face 
a full body image, right? Uh, put that specific image or, or go to the social media of the person specifically uh, and then put that image into some type of uh, AI that has the ability to create images off of um, one singular image, basically a character, which is plausible. I use open art AI and that absolutely uh, can, can, you know, put that person anywhere in the world on top of anything, wearing anything, if that makes any sense here. Uh, and that type of thing exists already right now. And I can tell you right now, if I had a project to do, I'm not hiring a model uh, because I can literally do hiring a model is going to cost me maybe $2,000 plus, you know, daily per diem. If it's like a, a you know, a big project, let's say. Um, but if it actually is just, I need to create something. Okay, perfect. Go to a model that, that you think is going to work beautifully for your, for that project you're being hired for. Uh, then basically utilize that image as the source image for the model that you want to create. Basically a person that doesn't exist, but you want that exact everything right body type phenotype everything is the same hair whatever it is now create a brand new person off of this image then make that it make that person a character uh for my it, like uh, my article or whatever whatever i'm doing okay and that's basically the this is the death of models period right any model that has ever existed to use them as a as a template uh and then you create a brand new model uh whatever skin tones you need anything okay uh and that literally will take you 20 seconds and cost you a couple of credits let's say off of your monthly uh subscription at open art ai uh which is like 84 dollars a year okay so just understand you just ended the industry um you just ended the industry a lot. I, I can definitely see a lot of commercial photographers also doing the same thing now, period. All right. Cause now, you, now your costs just completely just fell to the, fell to the floor, bro. You do you know how much hiring models cost guys. It's crazy expensive. <laughs> right. And don't let it be video Video is like 3,500 a day at times guys. Right. But either way, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Um, hopefully you're not in any of these industries. If so, I think it's seriously time to start pivoting. Um, this is not the end. I will definitely give you guys three years, right? Three years. But either way, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. In the meantime, I will catch you guys later. If you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.